Hey everyone, this is Three Mustard Monkeys here. Uh, I'm starting out my LEGO Mindstorms tutorial uh, series, and I will be showing you how to build uh, some of my robots that I've posted on YouTube. Um, I will th in this uh, tutorial I will show you how to build the Rack and Pinion steering car. It's basically a simple car that works that works like a real life automobile. Um, it uses a um, steering system that pivots to front wheels left and right so it can turn and then just a back drive wheel that allows it to move forward so we will start out uh, with the following few following parts shown in front uh, we'll be using of course your Lego Mindstorms brick doesn't really matter which version you can use any of the versions of mine just happen to be 2.0 um, you'll need to build these five assemblies the rack assembly the base assembly and the detection and actual pivot assembly the drive motor and then four regular wheels that and they should be roughly about the same size if not that's okay doesn't really matter but it's preferred that you used use um, evenly sized wheels so to start off we'll start out with the main part we'll start out with the base and you just need to use regular um, Technic length um, brick right here and make sure it's about the length of your RCX brick um, it in the very actually you need it to be longer than the RCX so make sure that it can have the length of the RCX plus the drive motor in the back Make sure it can fit both. So to build this assembly, you'll basically just need the Technic bricks, a drive shaft with a 16-toothed to 16 gear at the back, a regular 9-volt Lego Monstorm motor, um, a small 8-toothed gear with extension connector, then you'll need just regular smooth tiles. Make sure they're about six Lego units total, and Lego units are basically just the length of those studs for reference. So you need three of these uh, Lego tiles, and you can use any color. And then you'll just need a lot of plates, a lot of just regular Lego plates. And then you'll need a couple of one by two uh, Lego bricks. Once you built that assembly, uh, we're going to go on to making the drive motor assembly. Uh, this assembly just consists of a regular 9 volt motor with a 16 tooth wheel and then just three plates. One, uh, I mean, two 16 by one, uh, um, six by one plates and then a 6x4 plate on the bottom and then just build it as shown here and add that to the back portion so that each of the gears locks into place and that it's firmly on the base and now we're going to go to the sensor and pivot mechanicism this one has the touch sensor which detects the actual driving uh, direction like where the front wheels are turned by use of this touch sensor and then these uh, pivots on the side uh, allow the wheels to move back and forth without like moving it all over the place so basically you'll need a regular axle that's the, about the same length as the drive motor axle in the back and You'll also need 
a four Lego unit um, Technic brick, two of them on both sides. Then you'll just need a regular Lego axle brick, and that just uh, takes the axle and keeps it locked firmly in the brick instead of these circular ones that allow it to rotate um, and basically just build this assembly shown here and you'll also need a lot of spacers you'll you'll really need those those will be important then you'll just need a couple of plates on the bottom and top and then add this to the front part of the base assembly by snapping it on to the front like so. Alright, now we're going to go over to the actual rack, the actual gear rack, which is the pivot point for the steering. This will consist of a few Lego, like the smooth, rounded Lego Technic uh, beams. They'll, both of them will need to be five Lego units each, these bottom ones. And then these top ones, they just need to be four Lego unit ones for both sides. And then you'll need a regular standard gear rack. That pretty much, you should at least have one in your Lego Mindstorm set. I don't know if any that don't. Um, and then you'll just need a two by six, no, two by eight, uh, plate on the bottom. And then you'll need a, um, axle to brick, which is just basically the brick with the circular point. And then have a spacer with a axle to joint, uh, converter basically just this if you can't see that so once you have all that just put the rack assembly right here in the front it'll be kinda tough to fit it in there you might have to move the motor out of the way like so just move the rack in there like so and then just put down the motor and so now the motor can move the rack back and forth, which is the pivot turning. And the spacer in front will be will hit the touch sensor whenever it's aligned, like so. Alrighty, then you need to connect the um, pivot assembly to the rack assembly. And what you do is you just take this little pin right here and just pop it in this so the four and the five I mean this the four and the five uh, Lego smooth technic are connected together and then just snap it back on to the actual rack assembly and then do the same for the other side So it'll turn out like that. And then note that the pivot point only allows it only allows the wheels to move on one axis so they don't like go flopping around. And this actually will make it rotate back and forth on that pivot point. So the wheels will be in this direction. And then when you when the motor goes the other way, they'll be rotated in this direction.